Hey, welcome back. Boy, I'll tell you, I get some unusual requests for repairs, and this has got to be one of them. Uh, this is a Fisher Price music box record player. So I guess it is audio equipment, but uh, the problem with this is the, uh, well, obviously right now, let's test it out. You got your compact discs, compact music discs in the back here. Let's try one of them out. Hey. Humpty Dumpty. Sure, why not? So, what happens is this disc has little nubs in it, and it. There's a music box under there. What's supposed to happen is as I turn this on, the little motor inside, this, it's a wound up, spring wound motor is supposed to uh, start spinning and turn the disc at a constant speed but that ain't working and it was working because uh, the person demonstrated it to me there the other day and then when we were listening to it it started going slower and slower and slower and then it just finally stopped and now there's nothing and uh, I can't crank it up anymore it seems like it's wound up tight as it goes but well, we're just not getting anything here so let's open it up and get these out of the way so I don't scratch them. And from what it looks like, it's just a hex screw, hex headed screw. If I can find the right uh, socket, I can. What size is this? This is a 5.5 millimeters. It looks like I need a 6 millimeter. Okay, just hang on a second. Now you probably think I'm having a laugh with this, but I'm not. This is serious. Um, somebody actually wants this repaired. What did I do with my screwdriver? Um, it has collector value, right? These things are, uh, I don't know, it's 50 years old or more. And uh, in the condition this one's in, it's worth some bucks. Uh, that's the reason why they want it repaired. But I'm having a hell of a time getting these they're not even uh, screws or nails, like these things. You can see that. It's got a really coarse uh, pitch to the thread. If it is a thread, it's more like an Ardox nail. And it's got a hex head. So this is what I'm using to get these out. I just barely... I've been fighting with this for a couple days now. I actually made up a little socket. I had to grind the outside to make it thinner and all kinds of stuff and I had to make it so it fit and I had to crush this down because it was a little too big so I crushed it down and now it, it grab, grabs the hex so that's what I'm using to get this out major pain in the ass but uh, it seems to be working all I gotta do is make sure I have enough pressure down and then give it a, a turn and it should just climb right out of there There we go. The last one. There. Oh, this one's slipping. I can still get it though. Yeah, what a pain. Okay, so we can open this. Uh, how are we going to do this now? I believe I might have to remove the, the record arm. Isn't this? There we go. So this is all working the head. Yeah. 
probably that did need to come out, but I'm going to have to get this case apart somehow. Here we go. things. I got all four screws out. Is it this thing that's... This is... No. Might have to watch a YouTube video on how to take this apart. Hang in there, I'll be right back. Alright, I did manage to get it off. The trick is you have to pull this piece here. You have to pull that out to slide over this thing. And then once that the, the bottom comes right off. pieces here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lubricate the motor. Um, and I'm pretty sure the spring is wound up fully and I'm just going to, I think the bearings are dry, that's what I think. So I'm just going to lubricate this. A little clock spring in there. So this is your stop, motor stop. What it does is it gets in the way of this fan. And this fan is kind of like a governor that, uh, see it wants to go. I think it just had corrosion. So I think a little bit of lubrication this might work. Here it's getting better. Slowly picking up speed. A lot of dirt and crap in there too. I should uh, clean some of that out. So all it was was the lubrication. So I'll continue lubing this up and then uh, I'll give it another test. So I'm pretty sure I got it now. It's uh, just starting to, it's been running for a long time, the motor. And it's just starting to slow down now. It's been like maybe five minutes. And I think that's a big improvement over what it was doing before. We, I just lubricated these two gears and their pivots. Oh, I didn't. I still have to get the pivots on this one gear, or the bearing. And then the bearing is on this one. I did the bearing on the 
governor I did. Um, I'm pretty sure the spring completely relaxed now. So I think I'm done. I'm just going to reassemble it. After, I'm going to still have to re... Still going to have to... Uh, Still going to have to uh, lubricate this one bearing on this gear. All right, I think I got her. Um, it is working at a very slow pace. That's why the, the spring's completely re relaxed. So this is your key that winds the motor. That screws out, I don't know why. I guess that's just to... Okay. This thing here is kind of a key to keep you from overwinding it, I guess. Um, it fits in here like this. And then as you wind it, it goes through four stages. And I think you can only put four turns on it and then it blocks you from turning it anymore. Um, and there's a little cone here. A speaker cone and uh, that connects up with this tone arm there's a steel rod in here that connects directly to the, to the pickup head and um, that's how you transfer the vibration through to amplify it it's kind of cool so what we need to do is put this on and then I can drop the cover on Sorry, I'm get that all backwards. And as long as this drops in, then I can get the rest of it to cooperate. Pull it back a bit. There, it's on. working. Okay, let's put this back together. Snap together toys. Humpty Dumpty. Seven, seven half spins, which is uh, six and a half turns. No, three and a half turns. It's working. High fidelity too. Okay, so this is a result. I think we're done. What I'll do is I'll uh, I'll think about replacing these nails with some screws, maybe. I think that would be better for uh, future servicing. That was a pain in the ass. Otherwise, I just press these back in the holes and uh, I'm done with it, but uh, I don't want to do that. Alright, well thanks for watching. I know it wasn't exciting for you guys, but